Hi guys and welcome back to Switch Up. Today we're going to look at the upcoming games for the next week on the Nintendo Switch. Before we start, just want to say make sure you stick around to the end of the video because we'll be announcing the winners of that Battlestar Galactica competition. Now most of us are still playing through The Witcher 3, probably can't tear ourselves away from it, but for the others, let's see if there's any good options. First on the list is a game called Street Outlaws The List from Game Mill. Now it's releasing at £34.99 and focuses on the American street racing scene. The List contains the 10 fastest street racing cars in Oklahoma City and they're the best of the best. You'll be racing popular cars from this TV show. There's hundreds of customizable car parts. Thankfully they've included split screen local multiplayer modes and you can drag race, do challenges, tune up your vehicle and there's a quick play mode as well. It has one to two player local support but notably there's no online multiplayer which is going to be a real letdown for some people. This release is on the 22nd. You got to prove you're not just good on the strip. We're going to shake this mother up. Step five, buckle up and own the street. Street Outlaws. Next up then we've got Skullgirls Second Encore from Skybound Games that launches at £20 on the 22nd. This classic fighting game is definitely going to appeal to Glenn in terms of its styling but it has a lovely modern aesthetic to it. There are 14 original characters fighting out in the dark deco world. It's nice to see it has a fully voice acted story mode as well as the delightful soundtrack from Michiru Imane. This looks really interesting and it's reasonably priced as well. We'll try and let you know more about it before it's launched. I'll cut you down. Am I the meanest? Give up yet? The next game is Sea Salt, which Glenn recently reviewed. When I first saw it, I thought it was Pikmin, but with strange slug creatures. But he assures me it's not quite that. If you want to know more about this one, then go and check out his full review. The link will be down in the description. Next up is the adventure puzzle game Tangle Tower. Now I don't know much about it, but when I saw the visuals, it kind of reminds me of the curse of Monkey Island and that can't be a bad thing. You'll be unraveling a mystery, exploring a twisted mansion. So there's got to be some inspiration there, surely, from Maniac Mansion. There's a fully voiced and animated cast of characters, an orchestral soundtrack, which is really quite nice, but it's those hand-painted visuals that for me could make this a really nice adventure game to play. It launches on the 20th second. You find yourself standing in the astronomy tower of one Professor Percival Pointer. Fifi Fellow, Microbiologist, Inventor, Private Detective Hawkshaw. Fitz Fellow. Penny Pointer. Felix Fellow at your beck and call. My name is Poppy. I'm on a list of murder suspects. Nothing. What do we do? Next, we have a game that doesn't need a huge amount of introduction. That's Cat Quest 2 from P-Cube, which launches on the 24th. Now, this beautiful, cutesy adventure involving a cat and a dog is a lovely twist on the ARPG genre. You can play the whole experience in co-op with a friend or as I did with my six-year-old daughter. And with the world under the usual threat of war and destruction, we have a brand new story, that all new co-op play, new weapons, master swords, staves and more as well as a lovely new overworld map and tons of dungeons and things to explore. I haven't played much of this yet, but um, you can check out our review when it drops early next week.
Some games just catch your eye. Lethis, Path of Progress from Plugin Digital, drops on the 24th as well, and it's a city builder with a steampunk aesthetic. It has a campaign mode with 26 missions and three difficulty levels, a sandbox mode, over 24 different resources to manage, and more than 40 different buildings and four monuments. The maps are also surprisingly large, and it's got a very small download size. This could be one to keep your eye out for if you're a fan of games like Civilization, which I most certainly am. This launches with a 10 10% pre-order discount. Another game that I know Glenn's keeping his eye out for is Dark Devotion from the Arcade Crew, which is dropping on the 24th. Here you explore the secrets of a mysterious fallen temple and put your Templar faith to the test. It describes itself as having dynamic and heavy combat, dozens of weapons, armor and items for various fighting styles, intricate systems of blessings, curses and illnesses, huge and quite imposing boss battles, and dark levels and brooding environments. Now what we couldn't figure out by looking at all this information was whether or not this this was a side-scrolling hack and slash game or it has metroidvania elements we're not sure of that just yet hopefully we can let you know closer to the time but it does describe itself as an action rpg adventure platform game which does make me lean more towards potentially it having metroidvania elements Dusk Diver from our friends over at P-Cube is probably the next most interesting title coming up next week. This drops on the 25th and it describes itself as a vibrant anime action RPG with action oriented combat in a unique Taipei setting. It's only a single player game and it surrounds the story of an unstable dimensional rift bringing together all the gods, phantoms and humans. And obviously uh, a headstrong high school girl, Yang Yumo, has to step in and sort everything out. Why wouldn't she? She's finished her homework. You fight alongside those guardians. This looks like it could be a very interesting game. We'll hit up P-Cube and see if we can't get ourselves a code. <laughs> Also dropping next week is Destiny Connect, TikTok Travelers from NIS America. That's releasing at £35.99, so a touch cheaper than some of the games they've released recently. There's not a huge amount of description about this one. It looks to be an RPG set in a fantasy kingdom where everything runs via clockwork mechanics. I really enjoy the visuals of this one from what I can see, but there's no trailer on the eShop, which is always a touch worrying. Keep your eye out for this one. If we can get a code, we'll make sure we fire it over to the good man Jace to check it out. We've got Ultra Off-Road 2019 Alaska from Ultimate Games, also dropping on the 25th at around about £16, which is very cheap. The visuals of this, ugh, they definitely don't hold a candle to spin tire mud runners, which I reviewed on the channel. These types of games can be quite compulsive. Unfortunately, from what I can see here, I'm not overly convinced about this one just yet. It doesn't have multiplayer, hasn't got any online, and yeah, like I say, those visuals, hmm, not quite doing it for me.
the last game on the list I'm going to put in here just because it interests me so much. I can't really figure it out. It's called Soul Searching from Cubic Games. Apparently you embark on a journey to find the answer to the meaning of life. Now hopefully this doesn't mean wandering around reading overly hammy dialogue that doesn't really have any impact, but it does describe itself as a narrative survival game where you control a lone traveller who sails to an endless sea. On the way you'll visit different islands, discover stories of their people and learn about souls and dragons. There's a single player mode with a deep and emotional, apparently, story, a random mode for one to four players that randomly generates a map and requires the players to work together to survive. And that's the one that's really got me most intrigued. That could be a great little bit of fun with some friends. There's creatures at sea, dragons, killer whales and more as you go fishing to survive. And there's many islands as well. I've just got a feeling about this one. Might be worth keeping your eye on. It also launches with the usual Cubic Games 50% off if you own one of their other titles. Thanks so much for checking out our coming games video as always. As promised, if you check the screen now, you'll see the names of the four winning comments who will each get themselves a copy of that Battlestar Galactica game on the Nintendo Switch. A big thanks to the devs for those codes. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the channel and a big thank you to our patrons who support the channel each and every month. For all things Switch, all the time. Hang on, I forgot Let's Go Sing 2020. <laughs> What a gem. That launches on the 25th. Grab your mics and, uh, yeah, keep it switch up. See ya!